strong churches that are at that kind of next level are where people can can come into your church and make friendships really quickly and they find people that are like them and that think in a similar way to them and I think that that's the responsibility of churches is just to provide that now I think I'm coming more and more um to the opinion that groups on their own we've talked about you know churches have traditionally done house groups cell groups all those kind of things whatever groups you want to call them and groups on their own don't do that because i think what happens is is we we don't naturally know what we don't a know why we're gathering people together and also we're not being intentional about how and who we're gathering together and so what happens is, is we just we just gather people. Normally, it's the, the, the classic one is age and gender. So we'll say we'll start a women's group and we'll start a men's group. And then we'll do a 18 to 25s group or um, a 40s group or something like that. And, and for some reason, we think that just because of people are in the same age group, that they are going to be going through the same things, thinking the same things, and they're going to become great friends. And it's not actually always the case because there's so much differentiation between people of different ages and this is where we're coming back to this target market thing where what we've we've gone back to demographics and we you know we think that demographics are going to be the thing that are going to unite people just because you know let's get the women together because if you get the women together they're all going to make friends well it turns out no it doesn't work like that same with the men you know you set a men's group up and most men don't really want to go to it and uh why is that it's because there's something else in play just because you're putting people together doesn't mean they're suddenly going to become friends so i think we need to work harder at providing great environments where people can become become friends and i think the, the groups can do that i think that but having them around much more specific purposes so uh so topics or interests or things like that that gather people really really well because uh, then you know if we go to this and we're talking about this subject the people that sign up to that are all interested in that subject yeah so yeah. already you've got something in common you've got something in common to, with which you can build a friendship so if it's around you know interested in the book of revelation well actually you've already got a conversation starter because you've got a load of people who are really interested in talking about the book of revelation alternatively you can have a load of people who are really interested in um being a better parent for instance and they're all interested in parenting so you can you know they've got something straight away which is a conversation starter that's good that and that can never be if that's where the friendship happens that's not a friendship you know it's a bit like um when you finish a job when people finish jobs and you say we're going to stay in touch and then of course it doesn't because they all that all they had in common was was their job and they might have had a few things else in common but as soon as they left that environment the friendship didn't stand the stand the test of time and and it's the same with with our programs that that we can provide an environment where people can make friends but the friendship has to happen outside. The friendship has to happen where, you know, in the, all the other days, it's the, the time when you, you know, when you think I want to do something on a Saturday, whose garden am I going to go to, you know, and you, yeah. you, you text someone to say, can we hang out? And that's, that's the real tester of, are, are you making friendships? And I think church can only do that first bit of making introductions. And I think we could make introductions by bringing people who are like-minded more than just the fact that they've got the same similar age or they are the same gender.